Hello, my name is Nikki Alexander. A um, little bit about myself. I am of Haitian descent. I'm of Haitian descent. I'm very proud to be Haitian. Only thing I don't like is when I try to tell people that I'm Haitian, I get a very funny reaction because I'm on Haitian to most people. Uh, I guess they expect to see me with a hat, a briefcase, and some chickens around, but you know, I come in <laughs> like this. It's a little different. I remember one time I was talking to this chick, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, my folks are from Haiti. She was like, oh my God, you Haitian? Like, why Clef earthquake Haitian? I'm like, what the heck is that supposed to mean? You trying to call me ugly or something like that? Why would you associate me with tragedy? She was like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean the whole earthquake thing. I'm like, no, why Clef, he ugly as hell. Why would you compare me to him? You know what I'm saying? Why can't I get a Lenny Kravitz Haitian? That's all I'm saying, huh? That's a good looking dude. See, some of y'all are like, oh, I didn't know Lenny Kravitz was Haitian. He's not, but if he was, that'd be a good example to have. <laughs> but I'm stuck with White Club Haitian. Mr. Fuji Man. Yeah. Uh, our native language uh, is uh, French and Creole. I speak a little bit, I'm not fluent, but the little that I do know, I make it work to my advantage. Like if I see a nice lady, I make the places that I'm taking it sound real, real sexy in French. Like since I've been in LA, I've been studying the restaurants, you know, so when we're making plans to go out, I'll be like, listen, baby, I'm gonna take you to a nice, elegant restaurant. It ranks among the best. The food is good, it's called L'Entrée Sauté Burger. <laughs> you, know, you gotta put the tone on it. L'Entrée Sauté Burger. And girls be like, ooh, that sounds nice. <laughs> then they get to the spot, they be like, hold up, hold up. Nicholas, what are we doing at in and out Burger? This is ridiculous. <laughs> You told me this ranks among the best. I'm like, yeah, among all the fast food chains here, it ranks among the best. Yeah. Happy to be doing comedy, man. You know, just, uh, cause I'm like, you know, it's full time, it's what I do. I lo love to do it. You know, I respect those who have the nine to five, man. But this right here, that's like, I'm an entrepreneur with mine, you know. <laughs> Self-employed. I couldn't do it. I was terrible. Like, I used to, uh, I used to be a host. Uh, at a restaurant, and you know, you have to learn like the food menu and make sure you can answer all the customers and uh, other questions. But I would always try to suggest stuff that I would want them to eat. <laughs> you know, like, you know, if you have a steakhouse, you know, you, have, you learn that there's horseradish sauce and white sauce and red sauce. And I'm telling them, listen, sir, if you get the New York 16 ounce, what you want to do is put barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> yeah, get that barbecue sauce. That barbecue sauce is off the chain. Go for the dessert. I'm having an ice cream sundae. What kind of sauce would you put? Barbecue sauce? Yeah, that's <laughs> nothing better than barbecue sauce. But then sometimes, you know, not everybody wants to have barbecue sauce, <laughs> apparently. Sometimes they ask if I could recommend something else. Now, usually it would be, you know, the other sauces that I named earlier, but for me, you know, I'm telling somebody, listen, sir, if you're not interested in trying the barbecue sauce, what I suggest is you try the honey barbecue sauce that we have here because that is the next best thing. Thank you.